Hey guys, I am Anoush Patel from AndroidRoots.com. Let's go ahead and take a look at Liquid Smooth ROM for the Galaxy S3 supporting all US variants including T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, US Cellular, Cricut, and even Metro PCS. So here it is, here is Liquid Smooth ROM and this ROM is actually widely available on a lot of uh, actual different variants of devices too and it's even at one point been featured on XDA News. Um, so you guys may have heard this already but now it is actually available running on Android 4.4.2 for the Galaxy S3. Um, so first of all, as you can see, you got the liquid smooth wallpaper right here, the blue one. I kind of look like their logo. It looks pretty nice. And I like the nice blue color tone right in the background. Um, the rest of the options and new features are all located within settings on this AOSP ROM. Uh, so let's go ahead and just start and skip around here and there just because some of these new options you may have seen before or they're just pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, so let's go ahead and start off with interface in general, right? here and as you can see I already went ahead and applied that cool transition right there so if I go and tap on back as you can see it switches um, so it's an option within interface all right there and then with an animation control right there so I went ahead and do slide and right and then slide and right again for activity close um, right there you can also do for tasks and move back or move back in front right there too which is really really nice um, you can also go ahead and change the animation duration so let's go ahead and if I do it um, you know like uh, 720 uh, milliseconds um, right there if I go and uh, do that as you can see the um, app closed really slowly if I go and do it back to default it'll go pretty darn quickly compared to the previous one um, and as you can see the difference right there it's going back out of that uh, I really like that transition <laughs> it's never gonna get old for me um, let's go ahead and choose recent RAM bar right here and there you guys go um, now you can go ahead and do recent RAM bar mode and we can do all three and now let's go ahead and hold on the home button um, you can go ahead and choose or actually notice how much RAM is being used for applications, cache, and which was the last one, um, and other right there. So you can see the colors right there, which is nice and lets you know which app you're using a lot. If you have a certain app open only, um, you'll ask, actually, I'll let you know. Um, you also have list view animations right here. Um, so you can actually go ahead and do, you know, unfold right there. So I believe that's scrolling. Yes, that is scrolling. So as you can see, that uh, that's really cool. Um, we can go and try one more just because it's so cool. Alpha now. Let's go and try alpha. Oh, that's really nice too. It kind of fades in once you go there. Uh, so you guys go. That's a really, really cool one. I'm definitely going to be keeping that one. Very, very nice. Um, and that switch <laughs> never gets old. Lock screen is pretty usual. Navigation isn't too much. I believe, yes, you can just enable nav bars and just change the functionality. Nothing too crazy there. Performance, we always got to choose performance and look at this. So you got two cores. So core one, or core zero, I'm sorry. And then core one is offline, of course, just because we're not using it. And you can go ahead and change the frequency. So the maximum and the minimum. Um, I just leave it to default if you're just, you know, normal. If you want to go and do more performance, go ahead and change the minimum a lot. Or if you want to go and say that go ahead and decrease the maximum right there you can also go ahead and change the governor so interactive is currently set you can go performance if you're going you know be gaming and all that and you can automatically apply it each time you boot up um, right there uh, performance status bar it's I'm assuming it's pretty basic too so yes you got your battery icon right there um, so you can go ahead and change the icon of its circle dotted circle nothing crazy right there clock and date brightness control so you can go ahead and slide your finger across the status bar to go ahead and change the brightness right there uh, signal display and network speed indicator will just show up at the top um, if you actually have a sim card <laughs> put in unlike me <clears throat> Um, now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the advanced options. Um, so active display is the exact same functionality as the one that you have on the Moto X. So if we go ahead and turn it on, you have all these options to go ahead and change the notification, notification text. Um, I believe you can even go ahead and change the color somewhere, maybe not in this option or in this specific RAM. Um, but you can go ahead and change all these options. So if you don't want to have a certain app included within this notification, maybe maybe SMS just because you got so many of those or Gmail or anything like that you can go ahead and choose which app you don't want to be shown up using uh, the active display and it'll just show up uh, even when your screen's off it'll just show up uh It'll just, uh, your screen only uh, light up where the text is actually shown. And also, let's go ahead and under active display, you have bubble options, and that is the exact same functionality and the exact same feature as Halo chat heads. Um, so I already went ahead and applied it, so it's already went and enabled. And now if I go ahead and tap a little chat head right there, it should go ahead and show up right there. Yep, so there's your the Halo chat head right there. Um, you have all these options to go ahead and change the functionality and all that too, and you can even hide it after the activity too, and then ninja mode 
also right there so you can go ahead and make it really out of the way uh, right there and you also have a notification as you can see mine is the weather um, if you go, yep, there's my weather, and it's light snow here in Chicago. Yay, you know, great weather. It's been cold last week, and now it's snowing. Great. Um, but at least I gotta miss school sometimes. <laughs> um, so notification draw right here. You can go ahead and change all that up. Uh, tiles and layout. Go ahead and add some if you'd like. And you can go and add a custom one even. Um, I believe, yes. If you go and add it. Uh, right there, so you can go ahead and do contact, custom, go to sleep, lock screen. I believe you even have camera somewhere. Camera should be located somewhere. I really like that scroll and that nice fading effect. It looks really nice. And you have other options for that too. Uh, but you guys go options to go and customize it. I believe you can even remove them, I believe. Yes, you can go and re uh, remove them. So delete it and then it's gone. And then you're done. Uh, right there, you can go ahead and change other options in your notification. Um, and that's, I gotta say, pretty much it. And you also have pie control, so I'll just show you that really, really quickly. So we can go ahead and um, always show right there. And let's go ahead and see where it is located, actually. So there's your pie control right there with your time, uh, notifications, if there are any recent home and back there too. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys, for this video. Um, if you guys did enjoy this ROM review for your Galaxy S3, all US variants, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe in the bottom left hand corner and down below. You can go ahead and download this ROM uh, using the one link down below in the video description. Description. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, which are all located down below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.